I've had the wonderful good fortune to, to have uh, my hand-printed books uh, repackaged uh, on a number of occasions as trade edition books, which makes them uh, accessible to a much, much larger audience. And, uh, you know, to me, uh, making a book has two sides to it, and they're very different sides. One side of it is the, the side that, that really drives the hand-printed book, which is a work of craftsmanship and art and takes you know years to complete, a real labor of love. And it's all about the materials, the handmade paper, the handset type, the hand-carved wood blocks. And the beautiful thing about uh, any book, and particularly this kind of book, the limited edition fine press book, is that it's a world that is hidden. It's an unknown world that you have to go inside. You have to open that book up to see that world. It's not right out there like a piece of visual art, like a painting or a sculpture that's hanging on a wall or sitting, sitting out for everybody to see. The trouble with limited edition and fine press books is they're very expensive. And unless people go to a rare books room in a library, and I have my books in, in many different collections, so people can get access to them without owning them. But unless you do that, you have to uh, collect them, which costs a lot of money. And the trade edition book, it's not quite the same thing, but it gives you the writing, the juxtaposition of the words and the pictures. It, it gives you a lot of the same elements, not as beautifully done, not with the same texture and craftsmanship, but, but still, it's, it, it brings it across and a much larger audience. So I'm very happy that, 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 that that's taken place, and it's really a gift to have been able to do that. I, I really have fun repackaging these, these books and redesigning them, uh, because there's a lot more you can put into a trade edition book in terms of uh, uh, text and, uh, and even more colored pictures, uh, because it, it goes a lot faster uh, when you just send it off somewhere to be digitally scanned <laughs> and to be typeset by somebody else. Uh, now, the thing about about the trade edition book is it's it's nothing like the artist book, and this movement that's developed uh, with the demise of uh, of letterpress printing in the real world, uh, which first led to a lot of very beautiful hand printing. But now I've noticed that there's less and less people doing the craftsmanship because it takes a long time. And let's face it, in the, the digital age, people just aren't willing to put the time into something that you can get a very similar look, uh, you know, by designing it on a computer. The only thing you're not going to get is, is sort of that, that, that certain handmade quality.